Welcome to the Spelling Netcast for this week. Um, let's see what we need here. Don't forget you need your glue stick. You need a pair of scissors to cut your words out so you can use them tomorrow and the next day. You need a pencil. Make sure it's sharp so that you can get these all nice and neat. Don't forget your zip top bag so that you can get those taken care of and get all your words put into them after you're finished. Your spelling book that you should have brought home and your spelling words. So let's get started by cutting out the words. Looks like we're going to do some suffixes today. And I usually just cut it down the side. I cut the top off so that I can glue it to the top of your page like that. We'll do that in just a little bit. And we'll cut it down the side and then the bottom. Um, when you do this, this one's going to be a little bit different this week. You'll notice on the top of your words, it's got a base word, T-Y, base word, I-T-Y. And so when we cut these out, make sure you leave that intact so that we can write out what we need to do here. And then we're going to cut down the middle, at least one-third, one-third, and then we'll cut them out. Now, looks like we're doing a little suffix work here. And so what is a suffix? When it's got the dash, that means there's a base word in it. So if it goes dash ty and dash ity, it looks like it means that we are going to be uh, putting the base word in front of the suffix. So that means the suffix comes at the end of a word. Exactly. So let's tear that off real quick so we've got that. And spread out your words a little bit. I like to spread mine out on the side here. You can spread them out wherever you want um, just so that you've got them spread out so you can see them. makes it a lot easier when we do the word sorts if you've got them spread out so that you can see them everywhere and pick up the words that you need. All right? So, I'm almost done here. Looks like, oh yeah. All right, here we go. Let's put these off to the side here. Let's glue this uh, topic in, the suffix topic. And let's get that in there. Make sure you don't go too high. And then on these, I don't glue these in, but I'm going to start down here. And you'll notice that I always leave a couple lines because we need to write something above it. And so let's just leave that there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put base word, write it just like I have it. And then you're going to put dash T-Y. And I do like to underline these so that you can know what you're doing. And then put base word again, base word, and then dash I-T-Y. Now remember, you can pause this anytime you need to. So if I'm going too fast, then you can pause it, rewind it, go back, do whatever you need to so that you can have them ready. Now I want you to keep both of these base word um, exemplars because you're going to need those for later. When you sort your words, you're going to need those. So let's put those into your zip top back so they're, uh, they're ready for you to, to uh, do it. And, that, and as we get through with our words, if you want to put them in your zip top bag, go ahead. Do it to it. All right? So what we're going to do here is we're looking at T-Y and I-T-Y. And what these suffixes do for our base words that we're going to have, oops, forgot to underline that, is it's going to change adjectives, adjectives. And what are adjectives? Everybody remember what an adjective is? We, I'm hopefully you remember. An adjective is, um, it describes or modifies a noun. So, what these two words do is it changes adjectives to nouns. How interesting is that? So it changes them from an adjective to a noun. So let's see what we got here. And most of these nouns are going to be ideas, not 
per person, place, or thing. So that's what the nouns are, is person, place, thing, or ideas. And so we'll talk about that in just a minute. But let's start out with one of our first words. Oh, we guess we better do what IT or TY and ITY means, because they mean something. These two things mean the condition or, oops, I-O-N, or quality. Okay, so it changes. It's the condition or quality of the noun, okay, or the adjective. And so we'll start out with our first word, and uh, we're going to look at, let's, oh, let's see. Let's do, let's do an easy one first. Let's do the T-Y word. We're going to do safe T. So S-A-F-E-T-Y. Make sure you underline the T-Y. And don't, what I want you to do is, as I'm writing these, I want you to say them. Okay? So we go safe T. All right? And what is the base word of safe T? Of course, it's safe. So let's look at what these mean. Safe means protected. And safe D means being protected or the condition of being protected. So isn't that interesting? So this is a, I am safe, that is an adjective, but the safety of something, that is the idea, and so that makes that a noun. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? All right, let's do another one. Um, oh, let's do this one. Novelty. Novel T, all right? And I like to go with the uh, suffix first because that's what we're learning about. So suffix novel T. And so what is the base word? It is novel. Novel. And so we got novel and we got novel T. Now I want you to listen to that. Novel. If that's a novel idea, that means it's got a new or unusual idea. So the iPad was a new idea when they started talking about it. But as it came out, it became a novelty or the quality of being new. We got it, it's, it's the quality. We, we saw it as a novelty. It's new. It's a new item. But before, it was a novel idea. So here's the idea, here's the, it's describing the idea, which is the adjective, and then it became the novelty, which was the actual noun. So that's, that's kind of interesting there. So, and this is going to be tough because I'm going to actually have you look up some of these words because I want you to tell me what they mean, all right? And you'll have to write them down somewhere. So let's get into the I-T-Y words, and then I've, I've got one more I'm going to talk to you about. All right, let's start with... Activity, 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 activity. I want you to listen to the syllables in that, underline, activity. So we're actually going to circle the T-I, activity, because that's where the, the uh, uh, what do you say, the accent of the syllable is activity. But when we do the base word, which is active, active, the, ac the accent is actually on the very beginning. So it's active, but when we add the I-T-Y word, it's activity. So the, the um, accent is on different parts of those words which I think is kind of interesting. So active is engaged in a physical um, pursuit, and activity is the condition in which we engage in the, act, the physical pursuit. So if we are active, we're describing what, what we are, and, and we are active. But the activity is the idea of something that we're doing. So that's the condition in which we're doing it, all right? So let's move into another word. Oh, and let's do this one. Sensitivity. Sensitivity. And sensitivity is actually the quality or condition of 
being sensitive. Sensitive. And what sensitive is, is responding um, or um, detecting slight changes. So that's the, uh, yeah, being sensitive is there's slight changes in something, all right, and you're very sensitive to that, and that's describing what you are. But sensitivity is, so if I'm, if I'm sensitive to heat, then I have a sensitivity or the quality of responding to slight changes in heat. So that's the difference in using those two words right there. All right. So um, I've got one more word I want to do for you because this one is a little bit different um, than the other ones and because they mean some interesting things. So let's do casual T. Casual T. And so T-Y and... As I looked up casualty, it actually means um, someone who was killed or injured. It's a casualty. But I also looked it up and down further, and it says it's a person affected by an event or a situation. So it's, a, it's being affected by something. So that is somebody that's being killed is definitely being affected by a situation. And so uh, casual is, oops, C-A, oh, I mixed those two up. If you mix them up, go ahead and erase them and, and change it. Casual. It's interesting because casual is relaxed or unconcerned. So these two are actually opposite. And so I don't, I don't know how those two put together are put together with this condition or quality because you figure casualty would be the condition of being relaxed, but it's not. I wonder, anybody got any ideas? If you do, talk to us about it. Bring that up, because I'm interested to hear about what you think about that. All right? What I need you to do is look through this also, and I want you to pay special attention to safe and safety, because active, when we have an E at the end, we usually take it off and add the I-T-Y. Look at sensitive, E, take it off, I-T-Y. But safe is different. Safe, and then we add the T-Y. So please be careful. And it might be that I word in there. Sensitivity. Sensitivity doesn't work that way, does it? What about activity? Can't do that either. So we've got to add that I in there. And so it's activity. And safe T, we can keep that E on there and just add the T-Y. So now what I need you to do is I need you to take the rest of these words over here. I need you to say them and write them where they need to be. Underline the suffix. But I need you to do one more thing. Is I need you to take two of these words in here and I need you to look them up. I need one word in the T-Y and one word in the I-T-Y. And I need you to look up what the base word means. And I need you to look up what the word is with the suffix on it. One in T-Y and one in I-T-Y. Write whatever word you come up with last. Write those two words in. Write those two words in. Write the definitions below it. I want to know what you come up with. I want you to see if it comes up with the condition or quality of that adjective. All right? Okay. Get her done.